Crop Talk on Market Journal is supported by Nebraska's soybean farmers and their checkoff. Finally today, mare's tail is a common weed here in Nebraska, and it's estimated to be growing on over 2 million acres in the eastern portion of the state alone. To make matters worse, glyphosate resistant mare's tail is spreading. There are certain options though to nip this in the bud before planting even begins if you've not done so already. We recently caught up with an extension weed management specialist to get his input on effectively managing these weeds. Market Journal's Mike Straub has this story. Winter annual weeds are taking advantage of the recent warm temperatures to resume growth and development, making this an ideal time to scout for mare's tail. Many mare's tail populations in Nebraska have evolved resistance to glyphosate and ALS inhibitors. If not managed soon, post-emergent control can be very challenging, especially in soybean fields. Mare's tail is a broadleaf weed, uh, which is a significant weed problem in the state of Nebraska, particularly in eastern Nebraska. Mare's tail can emerge in the fall, means if you go to the ground, which was harvested last year in corn and soybean, mare's tail will start emerging and when you go back to the field, you will see mare's tail might be around one or two inch tall already by April. And another thing about mare's tail is it can also emerge in early spring, like this is the right time when some new emergence of mare's tail can also happen. A lot of populations of mare's tail has evolved resistant to glyphosate, uh, which is a uh, very commonly used uh, burn down herbicide. Uh, but now it is no more long working on mare's tail because a uh, lot of populations of mare's tail has evolved resistant to glyphosate and also giant ragweed is also resistant to glyphosate. It could be significant uh, impact on uh, yield and competition with uh, soybean particularly is very sensitive uh, early in the season and so the problem is if we do not control well then by the time growers will go for planting corn and soybean Mestel might be about six to eight inch tall and it can provide really strong competition with uh, soybean which is just uh, very tender and just emerging from the soil. So it can provide good competition and if you do not control this mare's tail or giant ragweed, uh, it can uh, significantly reduce the yield. Another option is to use a pre-emergence herbicide uh, which can be applied within few days of planting uh, corn and uh, for soybean majority of uh, pre-emergence herbicides should be applied within two to three days of planting soybean. So these pre-emergence herbicides can provide some residual control of uh, not only winter annual weeds but also some summer annual weeds like water hemp and palmer amaranth. So each herbicide has a planting interval uh, means for example if you apply to 4D type of herbicide in a burn down application you need to wait uh, at least seven days or so before you plant uh, your corn or soybean. So depending on uh, herbicide you use and how much rate you apply, uh, you need to watch for planting interval. Mare's tail is most susceptible to herbicides when it's still in the rosette stage, before bolting. For proper mare's tail management, burn down along with residual herbicides should be used. For a non-chemical option, consider light tillage for weed control. So when it comes to summer annual weeds like uh, water hemp and palmer amaranth, uh, the best way we are recommending to use a pre-emergence herbicide uh, within few days of planting corn or soybean and then uh, depending on uh, how the weed emergence will occur, uh, you may need to consider applying a post-emergence herbicide uh, uh, sometime after a month or uh, one and a half month. Uh, in the field um, and make sure you select herbicide uh, that uh, can provide control of those glyphosate resistant populations because a uh, lot of uh, population of water hemp and palmer amaranth uh, they are resistant to glyphosate and so just applying glyphosate based herbicide will not provide very effective control of those. There is a non-chemical control option for mare's tail and giant ragweed is uh, we have done some research and uh, if you do like um, light tillage before a week of planting corn or soybean, it can also provide significant control of um, glyphosate resistant mare's tail and giant ragweed. I know a lot of growers they prefer no-till but even once in a while when they have a lot of issues of uh, mare's tail and giant ragweed when they go to the field and when, when they see those and 
if uh, it is not possible to apply herbicides it is also important uh, to include uh, light tillage uh, about 10 cm of tillage can provide even up to like 90% control of those uh, uh, glyphosate resistant weeds population and so considering strategic tillage means you don't need to do it every year but maybe once in a while if you bring those tillage out and do it, uh, it can provide significant control and it is a non-chemical control option. As important as it is to get seed in the ground, it's equally important to scout for unwanted weeds, especially those resistant to glyphosate. Whether you choose chemical or non-chemical option, timing is essential to rid of weeds before they start competing for your crops. Reporting for Market Journal, I'm Mike Strop.